a uh, Hammer 357 bag here. Okay, this is the uh, BK2 Part 2. And uh, if we remember BK2 Part 1 was the uh, quick look. And uh, in that quick look, uh, I came up with my assessment that its primary category of use was wood processing. And the secondary category of use was survival and hunting. Okay, uh, part two, we're going to address some of the YouTube identified issues on the knife related to the grips in the sheath. And this is based on uh, some of the videos I've seen on YouTube. Now, the, uh, the common issues are uh, removal of the knife from the sheath requires you to unbutton the handle which causes the knife to flop around and hard to remove. Uh, number two, uh, it requires significant pressure to the thumb release to remove the knife. Number three is removing the knife from the sheath dulls the blade. Number four, on occasion under hard use, the center fastener of the grip has loosened and fallen out and number five, under hard use, the grip becomes slippery and hard to hold. Okay, let me uh, stage the knife properly and we'll go through those issues. Okay, I've got the BK2 on. Uh, you know, there is a uh, strap across the top of the knife to keep it in the sheath, so we'll unbutton that. And I think the problem is, you know, look at the sheath. Now the knife is flopping all over the place. So that that does look like it is a legitimate issue. Uh, the other thing is, uh, it says that it's hard to get out of the... Uh, so, I'm trying to push it with my thumb. Uh, I got it out now. Let's put it in there like this. And it's flopping around again, but if I grab it with my left hand and then pull, that seems to solve the issue. Let's look at it again. So it, even though it's flopping around, I grab it with my right and then my left hand, it comes out easy. So, uh, But this is an issue because if you did tie a secondary knife on here, it's going to create more weight. It's going to flop more. So uh, I think that is one of the issues we need to address. Okay, and again, here's the knife. I've got it off. Uh, and you see this part is kind of separated, but even when you try to remove it like this, it's kind of hard. It kind of pulls up on the knife. You can see it's kind of pinching my finger there. So, so you really have to have the second hand on it, and then you pull. So you really have to use this as a two-hand extraction. And even then, it's going to pinch your finger. Now, one of the issues is that that the knife blade dulls pulling it out of the sh out of the sheath here. And this is that kind of plastic sheath. And I can see how that happens because when you're struggling to get it out and you're pulling like this, what you're actually doing is in here like that, you're pushing, you're pulling the knife out like that. Okay, excuse me. You're trying to get it out, you're pushing hard in here, you pull the knife out like this and it's causing the blade to ride against the inside of the sheath. So what you got to do to minimize it, you have to pull it out as straight as you can, you know, and then, you know, force it more towards the top and not try to drag it, excuse me, not drag it along here. So you pull it out with more of a downward motion, but again, it still pinches your finger, so uh, so that I don't know how to but if this thing was even tighter it would be even harder to get out I have seen where somebody's gone in here and actually cut this piece of plastic off across here and that's made it easier but again you can see it's kind of separated here because what happens, it separates there because it, it really wants to get out easier. So I don't know, you know, that could be interesting. 
back in a second. Okay, one of the other issues is that it said under hard use, here's the three fasteners, that the center fastener here seems to come loose. I mean, over, I would assume that's over a period of time and a lot of hard use. So I've seen on YouTube several fixes. What some people do is they go into the center fastener and they pull it out and reinstall it with Loctite, which could help. And I've seen other YouTubers take out all three fasteners and go with stainless steel fasteners and nuts and have the nuts have the self-locking, uh, usually it's a grommet or some piece of plastic in there that it's a self-locking nut and that's also worked. So both those are options and so for right now I don't plan to do anything with that until I get some use on it and see if it actually happens. So for right now I'm going to do nothing with okay, that. Okay, I'm back. Uh, another one of the issues is that that the grip itself or the scales become under hard use slippery because you sweat a lot and uh, the knife can come out of your hand. So what I've got is a bowl of water here. I'm going to wet my hand up pretty good and we're going to see if that's really the, an issue. Well, you know, it's not the stickiest scale, but again, I can see if your hand got fatigued and you were using it that way that it could be slippery. I mean, my hand's pretty wet. And I didn't really have a hard grip on it, uh, but I did, you know, you can see that I got some pretty good damage on that board and uh, I don't know I've seen a couple of fixes on this uh, you know I've seen you know it might make it a little grippier some people have taken some light sandpaper and sanded this up and from what I'm told that gives you a little more grip you know that way the texture is a little bit more uh, you know it creates little valleys and hills on it I've also seen where somebody's gone in and uh, taken some Ranger Band, which is really an inner tube out of a bicycle, and wrapped it with that, which would make it a little more sticky. Uh, for right now, based on what I've just done, you know, I really didn't hold it that hard. Uh, you know, it, it could be a minor issue. I don't see it as a big issue. Um, Maybe the thing to do is use a light pair of gloves, and that might help. Uh, right now, I don't think I'm going to change anything. Uh, I'll be right back in a okay, second. Okay, quickly, let's just go over the issues again and what I think need to be done. Uh, removal of the uh, knife from the sheath requires you to unbutton the handle, causing the knife to flop around and hard to remove. Well, that's a true statement. That's basically a two-handed removal. And it requires significant pressure to the thumb release to remove the knife. And that's true, uh, you know, based on the way the sheath is set up, you know, that's a real pain. It takes two hands. And again, you know, you look at the way the knife pops in and out, you know, this is pops open like that to put it in and out. And that creates, you know, some pinching on the thumb here. So I'm not even sure what to do with about that is. That's something I'm going to have to look at. <clears throat> Removing the knife from the sheath dulls the blade. Again, I can see why that happens because as floppy as the sheath is and using your two hands, you're going to have a tendency when you pull that knife out to pull it out like this and that's going to rub across the back of this. And the only way you can possibly fix that is take the sheath apart and probably shim it some so that the actual knife blade tip doesn't touch it and it's wide enough so it rides on you know a little bit above the uh, 
tip, which I think would be a real hard fix to do. Uh, okay, under hard use, hard use, the center fastener or the grip loosens and fall out. Again, I'm going to have to use it a while and decide what to do. Uh, under hard use, the grip becomes slippery and hard to hold. Well, again, I did some pretty hard use. Yeah, it feels slightly slick, but I didn't have any trouble holding it. Uh, at, at no time did I feel it was going to fall out of my hand, but it wasn't the uh, as sticky as it would be nice to have it. But at this time, I'm not going to propose any fixes to that. Again, if I get fatigued, I can see that's an issue. The, whole, the, the knife weighs a pound. The best thing might be to use is some light leather gloves. So I'll be back at no. Okay, in a and second. again, some of the mods on uh, YouTube I've seen is people have actually gone in and replaced the grips and some micarta grips, and they've you know basically gone in and uh, bought new sheaths. And again, in my opinion, if you do anything to this knife that's 25% or greater cost to the initial knife. Uh, that's a high cost impact, and see, so I might as well step up and buy a more expensive knife. And I think that you can get the uh, uh, Ontario sells a uh, a bush knife that's about three quarters of an inch longer, and it's about thirty five dollars more. But it's a quarter inch thick, and it can do the same thing. So you're going to spend all the money on fixing the grips up with my card and getting a better sheath, you might as well just tip up the Ontario, you know, and pay the extra $35 there. Anyway, as far as this knife goes, uh, I only see one fix that I'm going to try. I'll do that in the next video, is that I've seen come in, someone come in here and put a hard piece of plastic along this to make that more rigid. Then they've come in and they've take them some inner tube or ranger band and put it up this long so that they basically this thing becomes more rigid and it reduces the size of this and from what I've seen that helps resolve the issue so what I'll be doing is trying that fix and I'll put it on the next video and hopefully that'll bring my uh, BK2 uh, videos to closure Anyway, I'd like to thank for your time. Have a great day. Long live rock and roll in the American dream. Thank you.